From a public health standpoint, we certainly want every eligible 5 to 11 year old to get vaccinated and that protects not only them, but it protects the community, it protects the other kids that they may be going to school with um, or playing sports with, and it will help us to really get ahead of this pandemic and prevent new variants from emerging. However, as a parent myself, I know that every parent doesn't think so much about the public health impact as they do about what's best for my kid. And, and you certainly need to weigh the individual risks and benefits. We know that the risks of the vaccine are extraordinarily low, but you know, what is the benefit? So I would advise you to think about four things. So what is the, your child's risk of exposure? So they, are they at full-time school or are they homeschooled? where they you know, are not exposed to other kids? Are they in sports or other extracurricular activities? What's the masking policy at, at whatever activities or school that they're attending? And how well are people enforcing masking? The second thing to think about is if they're exposed, what's the risk of infection? So we know that no five to 11 year old kids have been vaccinated yet, so they don't have that immunity, but some of them may have had COVID. How long has it been since they had COVID? We know that immunity wanes over time. There is some short-term protection from having had COVID infection, but it's also important to realize that that, in, that protection is pretty variable. So some kids might have great protection from their prior infection, some might have zero, and it's hard, it's hard to know. The third thing is, if they get infected, what's their risk of severe disease? So certainly, you know, kids with underlying comorbidities, immune suppression, obesity, other medical conditions, you know, are at increased risk of having severe COVID should they get it. But it's also important to know that about one third of kids that were hospitalized with COVID had no underlying medical conditions. So just because your kid is healthy doesn't mean that they're not at risk of being hospitalized should they get COVID. And then the last thing is, even if they get a mild case, what are the other impacts that might occur? So we know that five to 11 year olds are the highest risk of having multi-system inflammatory uh, syndrome in children. That happens weeks or, or months after even mild COVID infections. And, the, and most of those kids end up being hospitalized and can have severe uh, illness due to that. Um, what is the impact just socially with being out of school, being out of their extracurricular activities during the time that they have to be in isolation because of a positive COVID test? And lastly, you know, what other people might they impact? You know, siblings who cannot yet be vaccinated, older grandparents or other family members or friends who may, or who, those who may have underlying comorbidities that they might, if they're exposed because of your child, um, they could end up getting very sick. So those four things are all things that parents should consider uh, when deciding whether to vaccinate their kids.